Where are you? We've had stuff going off. Come towards myself and Bax. What in God's name was that? world knowing only life yet death awaits us all using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment we endeavor to gather evidence that there is life after death these are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. Tonight we continue our investigation of Champness Hall. This building was first opened in 1925 and has multiple paranormal tales to tell. Our previous encounters have left us stunned. But this building holds secrets that we have yet to identify. Whoa, what the hell was that? Could this be one of the most active paranormal locations we have ever encountered? Make one of the chairs move again. You'll hear it, you'll hear the chair go. Listen. You heard the footsteps? Yeah. Thank you. We're not even started. Okay. I'm gonna get our communication device on. We had not even started our investigation and things had started to happen already. You can actually hear the chairs moving and this is one of the reports inside of the building so to actually capture it on camera was incredible. Thank you, we're not even started. With this activity already happening, I'm sure we're in for an amazing investigation. You do it again. Can I come up with a... Thank you. I've got the servo, I'm just waiting for it to be. Can I come up here? Stop, stop, stop. Let me check. We are in a massive area. Um, three or four rooms we've got. 
I think it's four on the top yeah. floor, isn't it? Yeah. So this area was used as a nursery apparently, so I'll just give you a little quick tour of the place. Not a lot here at the moment. And if we walk, we've got a rim set up on this table here. <coughs> There's one in the doorway just there. Which we're going to very carefully bypass and show you this room. So this is a, another room which has got all sorts of stuff in, including a couch. Which is quite appealing, I'm thinking, for a sit down and a chill. So that's room number two. And we have a rem just in this doorway. So watch your step. And we have a kitchen which is uh, full of stuff. Oh, that a trapdoor. Mm. Trapdoor. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid we won't be going up there tonight. No. And this room just here, and that's the door out to another room. So we're going to um, see what there is. Jane's got a uh, gauss meter in her hand, and we're going to just turn it on. Turn it on. Okay. Oh my, oh my God! I've got something. I've got something down the thermal. Put, look, 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 look. You'll have to. There's two anomalies on the thermal imaging camera. You see them? Heat sources. What was the temperature? Hold that on, I'll touch them. I'll touch them and check. Ready? 15 and 21 degrees. What the hell are these temperature changes? I change it onto there. Are you down there? This is amazing. I'm just going to take a picture. Yeah, I'll take another picture. Now this was a strange but amazing capture on the thermal imaging camera. They appear as two balls of like heat sources and I am not sure what they actually were. The only thing I can suggest is that perhaps they were two heat sources actually touching into the chairs, perhaps the spirits themselves, that were causing the activity inside of the hall. Okay, we should start the investigation, I think. What do you think? I think it's already started. No, but we've got none of the equipment going. Go and get it. Well, we need to start that now, and then this. Ready? What we're going to do is we're going to get set up a laser trigger. There's definitely people moving around. So once we've set up the laser trigger, if anybody is caught on that, it'll alarm. It breaks the beam. We've also got the portal and the teddy bear, which we know they were interacting with before, but will he interact with it in a different area of the building? So we'll see if anything, I like putting REMs at, uh, in, in doorways because obviously things pass through doorways. Um, what was Jane? So for example if we put a REM in the centre of this room, it's a big area for one REM to cover and anything could just avoid it, walk past, mm. but if something decides to go through a doorway, that's a very narrow um, entrance exit to go through, and more chance of a rim catching it. So that's the reasoning behind that. Should we go back in this room and do some calling out? Yeah. We'll see if yep, so we're going to go back into what was the nursery. Don't know when it stopped being a nursery. But, uh, yeah, geez, I thought there was somebody 
stood there. Then. Oh, I think it's just the pattern of the door. It just looked like mm. uh, somebody was stood there. Massive big hole. Earlier on, there was lots of activity in this place, and um, I can't. I can only say that when we stop, even before we started, before we brought the equipment down, we've had stuff going off. What's that on there? Why is that going green? So what I've got on the stage. Let me just show you first over here. On this portion of the stage is a laser trigger. So if anybody walks up the stage here, it's going to break the beam. We've got. Really, when we first arrived here, they were doing an experiment in the building and you had this teddy bear with like flashing lights and if anything comes near it. So we borrowed that because the spirit seemed to like it. So what we've done the is, oh, the air pressure sensors there. We put the teddy bear here. So this is, will light up if anybody walks on the stage or comes near it. Because there's a lot of walking that we've experienced around here, We've got the sound sensor the pre and also the pressure sensor, which will alarm if any of the pressure changes. We've got the portal over here. We're going to use that in a minute. Yeah, to sound We've out. We've also got the K2 and the heat sensor as well. Aye, and the thermal. And the REM pod, you put that down? Yeah, we've already had a response while we're here, but we also caught something, we believe, on the thermal imaging camera, two objects. Now, put it on the front of the stage. Is there anybody approaching the stage? Hopefully. Is anybody here? Oh, that area was moving. Yeah, I bought that. This is one crazy place to investigate. Right, K2. Let's hope K2 goes off as well. Is there anybody here with us? Not expecting anybody that was in this nursery to be here, but anybody that recognises the hall from their period of time. Don't know what this would have been used as when it was the theatre, but dressing rooms perhaps, I don't know. But if you can give us a sign, what is this anyway? All right. Kids play area. Yeah, area and chairs. Just uh, from a bit. What? What in God's name was that? I set REMs up at each doorway as I always do, and I always hope that they're going to go off. Um, but what I didn't expect was for an object to seemingly be thrown at us. All right. Kids play area yeah, area and chairs. Just uh, from a di What? What? It was a very loud bang, and then when um, I turned my torch on to, to see what, what it could have possibly been, um, there's a golf ball on the floor. I mean, that was clearly something that just got thrown. There's no two ways about that. There's nothing on this floor here that, um, you know, there's nothing falling, there's nothing loose on no, the ceiling. There's nothing loose on the ceiling. I just put my torch on to see if there's anything on the floor. There's a ball. I didn't see that before. No, it's a golf, is it? A golf ball. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah. Is it that? Got to have been. Got to have been. I didn't see that before. Oh, my God. That was right in the middle of the floor. I know for a fact that was not on the floor. And having spoken to um, one of the, the people that are in this building regularly, uh, he actually told me where that golf ball had been earlier that evening. So it was not on the floor, it was on a shelf. Um, so where that golf ball came from, I have no idea. Yeah, that's not a soft toy. If that had hit one of us, we'd have known about that. Yeah. I mean, that is... I'm just gonna... That wasn't aimed for any of us. That's a golf ball. Yeah. That would have hurt. 
Is there anybody up on the balconies? Come towards myself and Bex. You are kidding me. I don't want to go up, but we're going to have to, aren't we? I don't think that was up. It was down. What? No, that was up there. There was a chair up there. Shh! The noises again, like doors. You there? Can you do that again with one of those chairs? Five, four, three, two, one. Fine. Fine. Good There's a laser trigger here. In case if anybody comes near us. That'll be great. Hey, I think we should stand here. Do it again. It's only some there, isn't it? It's all there. Hello? Do it again, please. That oh, scared me. Yeah. That really scared me. Yeah. I was not uh, expecting that at all. Mm. Is that you? Can you do that again for us? Really? What's that noise? Back in, Back in there. Go and have a look. I think someone's playing games. What did you hear? Like a thought. Can't see anybody. Mm -hmm. Are you playing with us? Right, we're going to do the portal. We'll see what we can get with that. I am going to leave the K2 on the stage. Like that to see if it is oh. it going off? Is that going off? Yeah, I think it's me to free. So I'm wired a special wire in between this to connect the aerials and tennis and it worked. It's like it's created a field. Okay. A field which picks up more. Wait, wait, wait. is a great tool for making contact with the paranormal. It's believed that the spirits can manipulate the radio signals to produce words to communicate with us. With so much activity already in this location, we had high hopes for an interaction. Is anybody here? I'm there. Where are you? My name What did you say? See? Yes? Steel. My name's Bex. My name. Are you Mary? Are you friends with Steve? What the hell was that? It's not on YouTube. Code. People, people, people. Do you come? Do you, can you? Do you see people come here a lot? Mummy. I wasn't here. There was. There was um, discussion. That people, uh, children were treated here during yeah. the war. Yeah. And it was, it was nuns here as well. Are you, were you one of the mummies? Or did you know a mummy? <laughs> Sounds like you, Jim. It's weird, yeah. 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 Was that your uh, 
attempt to scare us off by throwing that that ball. Yeah, I did as well. Did you hear that? Sounds mm. like somebody moving back there. Do you know that um, that feeling I was talking about? A homely feelings left. Yeah, very <laughs> much. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we're in somebody else's home and they're not yeah. very friendly. Yeah, I don't know. Feels different. Come on, we don't mean you any harm, and there's no need to be throwing ball. Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? It seemed like every time one of us is speaking, mm. something happens. But if you stay silent, you don't hear anything. No. It's very strange how that works. Come into the room with us, if you're not already here. What was that? That was like, hmm. Yeah, after I said come into the yeah. room with us, if you're not already here. Yeah, but hmm. Um, I heard that it was. No, 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 no. 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 Can you? That was the start of Ghost Dimension. Say ghost. Say ghost Dimension. Something was attempting to make contact with us and appeared to be saying ghost. It was very strange, but definitely intelligent. Can you repeat something else? I heard that it was... No, 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 no. no. After watching the video back, we noticed that an orb-like light flew behind me, and the portal said you. Can you repeat something else? I heard that it was... No, 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 no. 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 I felt like something wanted my attention and I could actually feel the energy all around me. Were you here in World War II? What happened, what happened? <laughs> Shadow where? Down there. Huh? Want it, want it. Do you know what's not happened tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, 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 here. Okay, okay, breathe, 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 breathe. Bex, 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 Bex. I'm... I'm what? <laughs> you laughing? Me? me, 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 me. me? <laughs> Are you showing us what you do on the piano? It all seems to come down that end. But when we go down there, it's quiet. Mm. Apart from the obelisk, which oh, has yeah. been a bit chatter. <clears throat> Men. Men. Are you trying to tell us that it's men here? There's more than one of you and you're all men. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> felt like something just touched the back of my head. Mm. Just felt like something touched the back of my head. Paul had just felt somebody touch the back of his head and it was clear no one was around and his face was in full view of the camera. But what Paul didn't notice and hear at the time was a strange whistling noise was caught just before he felt the touch. Not what you're saying? Was this event linked to Paul sensing a touch? I believe so and it was no coincidence. Feeling, yeah. I don't know, it? It's all right when we first come up, mm. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Wave. Hello. Hi. Are we waving at you? Are you waving back? Hello. Hello. You won't just get hit by a tsunami now. I know. Thank you, huh? Oh, 
I don't know where it came from down there again. Very strange that you come in and you hear noise in one room and then Bible. Bible. I thought, you know, I thought it said title, yeah. and after wave, I was really worried. Bible. Bible. What Do we about? need a Bible? Is Jane right? Do we need a Bible? That's nice, actually. What's that? Just. Yeah. Okay, okay, get the torch. But the torch. That was that door over there. Do you know what? That's nice. Just to stand. And have Silence. peace. Because that's where we're hearing everything. The activity in the nursery was starting to calm down, and with one area not explored, which is believed to be the most haunted, Paul set off on his own to investigate further. So where I am right now <clears throat> is, I think, I'm at the top of the building. In fact, no, I'm one floor below the top of the building, um, in what was uh, the caretaker's flat. So this place, if you look at it, <clears throat> it looks like something from the 1970s. It's, um... <clears throat> absolutely amazing. <clears throat> Truly like stepping back in time. So I've just come into here. Uh, when we were having the walk round. Uh, before it, um... It, it kind of drew me in, I just thought, yeah, this this is a place I want to go and investigate, so this, um, I, I bagged this location. Uh, two REMs out, wouldn't you know, uh, the one I'm pointing at the moment in the door, uh, I put it on the floor and it started to alarm before I could get the camera out, so I sort of law with that one. And then that one is in the door to the kitchen. And clearly housekeeping. Let's make housekeeping of uh, not been keeping a very good eye on the place, but look at that cooker as well. It's just like something from another era. Really quite amazing. So now we've done the tour, we're going to see if we can get anybody coming out to... I just thought I heard a voice. But that door rattled. That's a fire escape, right, so let's debunk this. Could have been wind, yeah? Right, let's just go and check it. Definitely wasn't that. No. Play the piano. Play a tune. Yeah, listen. Okay, it's okay. As you did that, the bleeding K2 went. Let's just check again. Do it again. For us in another part of this building. It was trying to. That's why I did that. It was trying to. It was touching the keys. I could. I, I could hear the keys going down. In five, four, three. Thank you. That was our pressure sensor. There's a lot of pressure changes in here, and yeah. I tell you what's just happened in here, Bex. Temperatures dipped yeah, massively. Do you smoke at me? Thank you. You're really close to us, and that's why we're feeling this sensation of the coldness, and the pressure sensor is also picking that up. It 
to somebody here with me. Thank you. Did you just say something? Were you talking as I was talking? Thank you. Did you live here? Did you just stay here? Was this your room? Please give me a little bit more. Appreciate the, uh, the fact you've just made that effort. My name's Paul. Well, that was uh, that was pretty good. I thought I heard a voice, and then uh, the rem goes off. That's right. Again, a voice. Just like sensor, 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 stage. That is our sensor. Then that went off. We did capture it. It was the uh, tapping sensor. You yeah. know the uh, movement sensor, vibration sensor. Oh my god! I can't believe that's just gone off. Hey? It feels like sounds like somebody's following you. And again. This was amazing to capture on camera. Our vibration sensor had, had sent something walking on the stage and alerted us. Sensor, 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 sensor. stage. And at the same time as we captured this on camera, Paul's REM pods were alerting in his own investigation. Were you talking as I was talking? Thank you. What we captured next was amazing. As we introduce ourselves to the spirits or entities in the room, we captured some sound, and it sounds like somebody singing. My name's Bex. I'm Sean. Paranormal investigators. We're not here to harm you. Got an idea. Come here, Bex. Trust me. <laughs> the hell was that? I don't want to touch the laser. Grab the doll. Put the doll by the piano. That was by the piano. The spirits here seem to be interested in our investigation of the building, our sensors and our equipment. So this confirms to me that this was an intelligent haunting here at Champness Hall. Can you set the teddy off? In five, four, three, two, one. Oh, 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 stage, stage. Mm -hmm. There's our movement sensor. Yeah. Thank you, you're on the stage, we know you're here. Babe, I just caught something fly across the screen on the camera. On the stage as well. Literally after our sensor went off, which is just over there, something flew on the screen. Don't feel like I'm alone, that's for sure. I'm just gonna try and uh, put the other on. <clears throat> I hope that camera wasn't pointing down me here, you might have seen daylight. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if I can communicate through the obelisk. I've got a device in my hand that if you use your energy, you may be able to use this to talk through. Might be clearer than what I've heard with your voice. Can you make our sensor go off again and walk through the beam of light over there?
Thank you. Come close. Closer. We're not here to disrespect or harm you. Just come close to us. Sure, I just heard a woman's voice. Did you? Humming. Again. I missed it. But I bet we caught it. Talk to me some more, please. Ooh. Ooh. I just felt like somebody uh, blue on the back of my, my head. Hug. Well, that's interesting. Felt like somebody blew on the back of my head and it's just said hug. Do you want to give me a hug? Ooh, shivers. Oh, right the way down the back of my neck. Oh, he gets you, oh, mad. We got it, we got it. Look, they've come close. Now, all you got to do is audibly make a noise so we can hear you on the camera. Can you speak into the camera? Can you say your name? Can you say our names? Say nothing. Thank you. Sit behind us. Can you come down the stairs? Can you stand on the stage? Watch me. Stop it. So good. That chair. Did good. you just sit on the chair? Not the big bang sounded like it came from upstairs. To somebody upstairs, you make a noise. The noises that were coming from upstairs, there was clearly nobody there. Um, there's no no reason why I should have been hearing that. And I'm certainly hoping that the audio's picked that up. Not the big bang sounded like it came from upstairs. What it was, I don't know. I couldn't find an explanation for it. Nothing appeared out of, uh, you know, like out of place when I was in there. Um, so I don't know what that was. It was interesting. Um, nothing had been reported like that uh, to us by the, the owners. But um, clearly that was something that I was experiencing that night. So maybe that's just going to add to the activity that is reported there. So you can come and go. Thank God. But you prefer to stay here. Are you happy here? Good. Go on and go on and go on and go on. I'm trying to capture them. Come down the stairs, please. Come down the stairs, please. Oh, I can hear them. You're amazing. The activity is amazing that you're doing for us. Just walk through the little light over there on the stage. That's not, all we ask. We're not here to harm you. Just want to speak to you. No, I'm trying to capture it. It's hard. No, because they seem to be coming closer right now. We've got the infrared light from that corner in there. 
which is used the K2 exactly. in my hands again to communicate with us. Are you able to? Are you able to touch it? We're going to leave you in a moment. So if you could walk down the stairs over in this direction, it would be fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. We hear you making the noises. Is your name Emma? Are you Steve? Or Mary? Can you show yourself to me at the top of those stairs? What was the obvious? I think it's a tree. I don't know why it's a tree. If you're upstairs, can you make a noise? I don't know what that was. Have a quick look. Main. Main doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Main what? We thank you for everything you've done for us and to the other spirits that have also joined in tonight. Sure, the case we will. Oh, baby, baby. Put the light on, put the light on. Type this with you, yeah. Put the light on, quick, quick, quick. Right, because she used a voice. And it came from the back. Come back. Anything there? Pan up, uh, let me just stare. Mary? Amazing. I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed that.